So, hello everyone, and I hope you had a very pleasant pleasure fun there is this morning, and I hope you enjoyed your lunch. Otherwise, I hope you will enjoy it after my session. So today, I'm going to start this fun small talk about Java. So before that, any Java developers here, please raise your hand. That's good. Anyone not using Java here? Yeah, that's better because this talk is addressing for you specifically, guys. <laughs> if you're not loving Java, you'll love it right now. But before, let me introduce myself. My name is Aisha Lafia. I am a Java software at AdServe you with a love for coding, a heart for volunteering, and of course, a taste for delicious food. I'm also part of many local and international communities, such as a Women Tech Makers Ambassador and a member of the Moroccan Asso Association for Computing Science. Well, disclaimer, or to be more specific, Java doesn't run the world technically, but it runs some amazing zones, such as, let's start with the biggest one, the NASA. Did you know that many of projects that NASA work on does use Java, such as Gmars, Gmoon, uh, like uh, that, that machine, the controller that went to Mars, it's also like built with Java. Moving to the smallest one that we cannot call it the smallest zone, but the smallest device that could be in your package right now, because accordingly to Oracle, there is almost 6 billion devices that use the Java card. That includes the card SIMs in your phones right now and the credit cards too. And of course, many of us at least made the research on Wikipedia. Did you know that from its start, they were using what, what we call the Lucid Engine research? And even after 2014, when they switched to Elasticsearch, that's also made with Java. Let's start for something fun, the gaming. Like there are a lot of many famous games are made with Java, such as Minecraft, Mission Impossible 3, Amazfit, and more. And your favorite audio streaming is to use in Java. And of course, as a Java developer, our IDE will be made with Java. The DevOps people, your favorite tool is also made with Java, like Jinkies. Netflix is not only using Java, but they're also trying to keep up. Like, for, for example, right now, they are using Java 21 and generational ZGZ in their production. And last and not least, the famous zone that dominates the Java, which is the finance. Like for, from the smallest banking application to the biggest Wall Street force, many of these servers are made with Java. Well, I did not mention everything because I will keep talking all the day. But with all these amazing zones, uh, zones that run with Java, there are still some misinformation, some stereotypes, some rumors about Java that's been spreaded loudly. Let's start with the first and the famous one. Is Java slow? <laughs> well, there I have some numbers, like you can show it to everyone who keeps saying Java is slow, Java is taking so time. Well, accordingly to some research being done in Vancouver, Canada in 2017, with they tried to compare the energy, time, and memory consumption of each programming language. For the one who keeps saying Java is slow, do you see Java in the bottom for the on the table for the time consumption? Do you see it on the bottom? Well, no, because it's in the five top three for the programming language that use less time. And by this, you can say to them, absolutely not. Java is faster and more efficient. And especially with the just-in-time compilation and the optimization for GVM, it's become even more faster and efficient. So by this, no one right now can really tell you Java is slow, and you can let it go. <laughs> and the second one is, or Java is outdated, like we're really Keep hearing Java is a legacy code, Java from 19s. Well, you can say this to him if Java is really a legacy code, is outdated, why we keep using it? Especially in the many zone that I mentioned before. And of course, the finance. Why finance field keep using Java? Otherwise, you can say to them, absolutely not, because Java have 
a new release every six months that we call short-term short -term support release. And every two years, we have what you call it a long-term support release, or as someone call it, the official one. Like Java trying to keep up with everything new in the tech field, such as doing some enhancement in the cloud, going through machine learning to, yes, it's possible in Java. And even security, like they're always trying to keep improving and security and uh, how we say the, the flexibility and maturity of this programming language. So since we mentioned this, let's try to see what's really new in Java. And what's a better way to do it than to check the latest LTS, Java 21, that includes some what we call finalized feature, like this is the feature that's been tested and we can say approved. Starting with the design and record pattern, like they bring enhanced support for common design pattern, along with introducing the record pattern, it's all about simplifying the code for developers and, and making it easier for us to implement uh, the, go the, the good practices in our code. And of course, there is the generational ZGC, which, uh, which is another advanced GCC that is a garbage collector suitable for large memory heap application. And of course, there is the sequent collections that is being used for implementing or having a consistent way to handle collection, especially the ordered collection one. And of course, there is virtual thread and parallelism concurrency. Like right now, we can finally tell people, yes, we can work on the multi threads application in Java, because as a Java developer, you will know the dilemma that we used to have. But right now, we can do it like it's become more scalable and flexible to create a multi threads Java applications. And there is what we call the preview features. This is like they are giving you the, you the trailer future. You can test it. If it's working, then it will be finalized. If it's not, it will be deprecated or maybe just a second preview to improve it or otherwise remove it. And let's start with the string templates. Like it, it's a flexible way to hand the string interpolations to make your code more readable and concise. <coughs> There's also what we call unnamed classes and instant mainly methods. It's all about like reducing your code, making it more cleaner, without like really repeating something that you will not be used in other place. And there is the scoped value. This is like we're really. Uh, improve the way you handle temporary variables in your current application. And of course, there is the structured concurrency. Like in Java, we know that we have the dilemma of multi threads. So we try always to make improvements in the concurrency model by either, by either implementing the virtual threads or trying to create the structured concurrency. And looking ahead, even the latest SCS, which is Java 22, brings more excitement features, such as a named variable and patterns like this is always about simplifying the code, eliminating, eliminating verbosity, and making your code more readable and cleaner. There is also what I really liked, which is the foreign function in memory API. Right now, we can communicate through API to external libraries, external programs, native codes, in a more consistent and security way with your Java application. And of course, there is the launch of the multi-file source code, uh, code programs. Like right now, we can develop and test your multi-file program language in a more flexible and easy way. And of course, there is the statement before super. Like right now, you can initiate any variable you want in your constructor without like really paying attention if it's before or after super, and your constructor will work, I would say, in a very good way. Because before, sometimes we forgot and initiate our variables. Before super, our application gets crashed, and it was like, why? And right now, we can do it so easy. So after we see like what's really new, and that I didn't like mention everything, but only my favorite features. So you can look ahead to each release, what's have, and I'm really advise you to that because it has a, a really some enhancement and some good future that can help facilitate and making our life easier. To be honest. And 
Of course, there is the preview feature on Java 22 either, like stream gathers. It's a more flexible way to, how we say, to process collection of data. There's also the, lo the locate dependent list patterns. It's all for people who are working with internationalizations in, in 18. It's m it's more easy way to handle them. And of course, we always work on parallelism on structured concurrency, which is right now, it's on the second preview. Not finalized yet, we are still working on more improvements. With all this, it's time right now to highlight the importance of Java communities. Like, this is the place that you will learn, you will meet friends, and also will get support that you want. Reach out to the the nearest Java user group nearby you. Otherwise, there is international one. Check events like this. Like, I'm really salute you guys for going here because as a Java developer, when I first started, it was hard for me. But thanks to the support I got, here I am right now. I'm speaking my knowledge because as a part of a developer, we need to learn and we need to give knowledge to others too. This is the process. So this is your safe place. Don't be shy and ask for a question. If you need any help, reach out to any Java developer you know. Otherwise, just ask. Use social platforms such as Twitter, X, sorry, and LinkedIn. You will find many people that are really willing to help. And please, don't trust any stereotypes about Java, ever. Especially if it was a bad one. <laughs> and it's time to say thank you guys for enjoying this small session. I hope you find it enjoyable. <laughs> and well, I try to make it uh, quick because I know this is lunchtime. And if you have any questions, I'm more available to ask, to respond. Anyone? Like, I want to ask you one thing. Do you really think that like Java can be the number one programming language after? Yes or no? Like uh, the most used programming language, because right for the web, the machine learning and more. Like we know that, for example, when we are talking about uh, the web servers, the, uh, there, are, there are many people only focusing on JavaScript. We are talking about machine learning. They are always saying it's only Python that can do it. Do you think that Java will conquer all that this field too? <laughs> well, actually, that's a good response because otherwise we will start to do many things. <laughs> Indeed, that's why right now many Java developers try to more to be more concise about what field they want to implement Java. And by this, I want, the lesson that I want to tell you is that with Java, you can do everything right now. Start the field that you want, whatever it is, machine learning, whatever it is, the health, whatever it is, the hardcore, software engineer, hardware engineer, you can do all this with Java right now. Nothing is impossible. Just look for the best libraries that can do it. And if you didn't find this, contribute to open source too. That's what the final thing I want to mention. Please look for any, any way you can help the Java open source. It will not only help you after, like for using this tool, but will also like give opportunity to others to contribute to. And thank you.